Hey guys, it's Tanika and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be back and getting into creating makeup content. I really hope you enjoyed watching Wedding Week and all the videos about our big day. It was so special to be able to put that footage together and share with you. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't watched it, I will have all the videos linked down below. I've got a Q&A, three vlogs, and a wedding makeup tutorial. For today's video though, I have a drugstore haul. I have a lot of things here to show you, so let's just get into it. First up, I went to Priceline and got quite a variety of things. They had their big 50 or 40 or 50% off makeup sale recently. And they actually had quite a lot of deals on a lot of other products as well. So starting with the makeup, I picked up the new Maybelline Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara. Now I have seen so many people rave about this on social media, so of course I had to pick it up and try it. I have always loved Maybelline's mascaras. I think they have a lot of really great options, so hopefully this is right up there with the rest of them. I love the packaging, I think it's very sleek. The wand is a rubber wand and it's very flexible. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> now I usually like more fluffy natural bristle mascara wands so it'll be interesting to see how this one goes. Next I picked up the NYX Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil and this is something that I've been eyeing off the last couple of sales. I'm like oh should I get it? It has a pretty decent shade range and the reviews they're quite mixed, which is what I think has put me off. But the reason I picked it up this time is because I did see a few good reviews leading up to the sale. Now I picked up the shade Vanilla Nude, and this is described to provide a fresh faced look. It evens out your skin tone. It says it has a seamless coverage, breathable, weightless formula, and it looks luminous. So I'm expecting something that's a bit more lightweight, not extremely long lasting, but could be good for every day, um, just like running errands, just when you wanna put on a little bit of makeup. I think this shade is going to work really well. It's nice and neutral. It does have a little bit of a thicker consistency, but it's blending out really nicely on the back of my hand. NYX can actually be pretty pricey, so I only buy from them when there is a good sale, and this one was on sale for $12.50. I really wanted to pick up the NYX Brow Glue, something like that. I'll put a picture on the screen of it now, but it's like a really strong brow mascara in a clear shade, but they were out of stock. Another foundation I picked up from Priceline was a backup of the Astralis Fresh and Flawless, and I grabbed the shade Ivory. Now, I have loved this foundation ever since it came out. It is extremely lightweight, like it's a very thin, liquidy formula, but it has such amazing full coverage, and it lasts so long on the skin. If you have dry skin, I would probably give this a miss though because it can tend to cling to dry patches. But if you have a normal combination or possibly even oily skin, this could work really well for you. Next, I picked up some skincare and I've been hearing a lot about the brand called Q&A on Instagram lately. So this is a skincare line that has recently come to Priceline. They've got quite a big variety of products and the packaging is very, I don't know, like it's just... Instagrammable. <laughs> now I picked up the Grapefruit Cleansing Balm and this says it's a hydrating, calming and refreshing balm that melts away your makeup at the end of the day. I have been all about using a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm the last couple of years. It just helps to remove every last trace of makeup and I'm really excited to try this. I think it's nice that there are more affordable options when it's coming to cleansing oils and balms lately, so hopefully this is good. If you've tried anything from the Q&A brand, leave a comment down below letting me know what you tried and what your thoughts are because I would love to know. Next, I picked up a backup of my shampoo and conditioner. So I have been loving the Shea Moisture. Is that how you say it? Shea? Shea? Anyway, the Manuka Honey and Yogurt Hydrate and Repair line. Now that my hair is longer, I notice more of a difference when using different shampoos and conditioners. When I had shorter hair, it was like I just used whatever and it didn't really matter. But now that my hair is longer, I can tell because it gets oily faster or it just gets, just gets messy and dirty. I only wash my hair once a week. I feel like that's all I really need. And I love this shampoo and conditioner. I find that the shampoo foams up nicely. I did try a Kristen S one beforehand and there was like no, 
it didn't lather and it was really annoying. I didn't like it. So I like that this one lathers really nicely. The conditioner is beautiful as well. Leaves my hair feeling nice and silky soft. And then I also pair it with the matching mask. And this just adds that extra boost of hydration that I find my hair needs. I do have not extremely thick hair, but it is naturally quite wavy. It can get a bit frizzy and it needs hydration. So using this mask after eye shampoo and conditioner just works wonders for my hair. It has a really beautiful, fresh, clean smell. It's not too fruity or fragranced at all. And it's one of those products that isn't filled with super nasty ingredients. So along the side here, it's got its list of no-nos. <laughs> I've never really repurchased a shampoo or conditioner before. I have kind of just tried different ones, but I love this one so much I had to pick it up and it was on sale for 30% off, which brought them down to a pretty reasonable price. Next, I picked up some nail polishes and this is something that I never buy. Because I work in hospitality, I just don't do my nails. We're not allowed, first of all, and they just, they're just grubby, working with food and drink and washing my hands all the time. They're just... Look, my nails are not nice. Recently for the wedding, I did get acrylics and oh my God, I love them, but it's not something that I can keep up. So I did pick up a Sally Hansen Advanced Hard as Nails Strengthening Top Coat. I don't know if this is the right product, but I was thinking of applying something clear to help strengthen my nails because they are just so weak. This, <laughs> okay, see this tiny bit of, of length that is like the longest my nails have been in years and I know that is not long on the other hand these nails were the same long length but they just have uh, cracked and broken so I would like to have nicer nails not just little grubby stumps and so I'm hoping that putting on a top coat something that helps to harden and strengthen them is going to work I don't know though, let me know your thoughts or opinions because I don't know what I'm doing and I would just like my nails to grow a little bit so I don't have stumps. <laughs> and then I picked up another Sally Hansen product. This is the Color Therapy Sheer Polish in the shade Bear Kiss. And I got this one for my toenails. I don't like to paint my toenails like hardly ever, but I thought just something nice and sheer and natural would look good for those times where I actually go out and I've got heels on and you can see my toenails. <laughs> Next, I have some things from Essence and these were actually sent to me in PR, which I was so excited about because I love testing Essence products. They are super affordable and they actually have a lot of really, really great products. First up is the Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation and this is the shade 050 Neutral Champagne. Now, I'm pretty sure I spoke about this foundation in an online shop with me at Priceline. This foundation actually has a really, really big shade range, but of course, they're not all available here in Australia. This is the lighter shade that is available here. I did try it out yesterday and it looks darker when you squeeze it out than when you apply it. So I wanna keep testing it because it did work pretty well. It had a decent coverage and had that nice hydrating finish. And then another foundation is from the Hello Good Stuff range. And this is the Tinted Beauty Cream in the shade 10 Light. Now this is described to be a moisturizing tinted day cream formulated with a bunch of hydrating ingredients and provides a healthy looking complexion, lightweight formula, perfect for the no makeup look with a light coverage. I feel like these kind of foundations are gaining popularity more in the makeup scene. So I'm excited to give it a go. Let me swatch both shades so we can get a feel. Okay, so this one here is the Pretty Fresh and this one here is the Hello Good Stuff. They're both just not quite right for me but I'll definitely, I'll definitely try them and let you know. I also have the Hello Good Stuff 3-in-1 Face Mist. This says it hydrates, fixes and refreshes and it has watermelon extract. I did use this yesterday and it has a very strong watermelon scent. It did feel nice though just to spritz over the face. It was very refreshing but I'm just not sure about the strong scent. There were some other products in the Essence package, but I feel like they were the standouts for me. Let me know if you'd prefer to see one foundation over the other when it comes to a review. 
And then lastly, I placed an order from the Elf Australia website because they recently released their mint collection. And I have heard so many good things about the Mint Melt Cooling Face Primer. So it's described to be a hydrating vanilla mint scented jelly primer. So it has a unique jelly texture that works like glue to grip makeup and ensure it stays put. I am so excited to give this a go. I think it's going to be fantastic. I have been really impressed with e.l.f.'s products recently. I feel like they are just bringing out some bangers and hopefully this is another one. I also picked up the Lash It Loud Volumizing Mascara. Again, this is a product I've heard lots of good things about on socials. So I had to give it a go. It does have one of those rubber wands. So, oh my God, I hope that I like it because that's now two mascaras to try with the same wand. I think that the packaging is nice and sleek and I'm excited to give it a go. And then lastly from e.l.f. I picked up two of the new liquid metallic eyeshadows. Now I have been a lover of the liquid glitter eyeshadows. They're a great dupe to the Stila liquid glitter eyeshadows. And so they released a metallic range. I picked up two shades. I've got Little Dipper and Moon. These feel so beautiful and creamy. I think they are going to blend really nicely on the eye. So the goldy tone is Moon and the pink is Little Dipper. Look at that beautiful shine they give. All right, well, that is all for today's drugstore haul. If you enjoyed watching, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment letting me know what products you are most excited to see in action. If you aren't already, make sure you come and follow me over on Instagram. I'll have my name on the screen now and linked in the description box below. If you're new here, I would really love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. I do a ton of content related to drugstore products. Well, I hope you're all having a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.